questions for Coach Sunderall? Coach, how tough was it for the plan balance to your end? Well, uh, he, he got going in transition early. Um, we didn't do a great job with him, obviously. I mean, he had 31 points. That goes without saying. Uh, he's a good player, and, uh, and he played very well. And we, we did not do a very good job guarding him in any aspect. Uh, transition, even when we were guarding him, we were standing there with our hands down. And uh, we just gave him too many good looks. And uh, 31 points, I mean, that's, that's a lot of points. Well, you know what, I, I, I don't want to say disappointed, but we didn't play in the first half uh, the way we're capable of playing for sure. I thought we were slow on every rotation. Um, we didn't take charges the way we did on Friday. Uh, we didn't do a lot of the things that we did. So at halftime, our kids came out and, and uh, you know, gave a good effort to start the second half. We tied the game. Uh, we certainly had our chances. but. At the end of the day, uh, we didn't play the way we need to play to win. Um, you know, we just didn't play together enough on, on either end of the floor, on either end of the floor. Uh, for them to shoot 52% is way too high. Um, for us to have 21 turnovers, I mean, y you can look at the stat sheet and there's not a lot that we did very well outside of offensive rebound. but. Uh, We've just got to get better. And there's going to be some growing pains. It's a new team, a new season. And as, as good and as well as I thought we played on Friday, uh, we were equally as, as poor in a lot of aspects today. And yet there's a, there's a point on that when you tied up and you got a fight. Almost there was some confusion yeah. in terms of what you're looking for in terms of what you're looking for in terms of what you uh, you know, maybe you have a chance to, to stay in the game and compete and maybe win the game. But, uh, you know, we didn't get the stops we needed to. When that happened, we turned the ball over way too many times after we tied it up. And, you know, for lack of a better word, we just, we just, uh, we weren't all about winning today. You know, we, we were uh, a little bit into ourselves or, and whether it was frustration because they, somebody wasn't playing well or, Frustration because we thought we were open and we didn't get the pass or whatever it may be. There was just too much frustration and too much uh, individual stuff and um, that we can't win when we play that way, period. You mentioned the other day about coincidence, habits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a couple guys that you know, uh, Brewer really stepped up with a better game than he had the other day. And, and, uh, Taft rebounding uh, you know in, in that regard are you seeing anything obviously it's just two games yeah uh, you know I think Chris is establishing that he's that he's a pretty good player uh, you know I, I, I think that's the case Chris Brewer but um, you know I'm sure he's not happy he only had one assist he had four turnovers and, and you know you could look at individual things okay Melvin had a couple of rebounds tonight I mean that's all well and good, but at the end of the day, um, I don't think anybody really played uh, the way that we need them to play in order for us to win. Uh, you know, and maybe I'll watch the film and I'll think differently, but on first glance of, of you know, digesting what went on out there, there's nobody that I'm saying, well, boy, he did great tonight because uh, at the end of the day, we just had too many defensive breakdowns and too much, uh, you know, too, too many turnovers and too many one-on-one -on -one stuff. Isaiah, that, that really came out like trying to run Kent State. What do you say to turn that around for a Friday game? Nope, oh, we'll watch some film and, uh, and, and hopefully get better, digest what happened. And uh, it's a long season. So uh, as excited and happy as we were on, uh, after the win against Drexel, I would hope we're equally as disappointed with how we played today. And you can't get it back. You just got to move on. And Friday's another game and, uh, and another good team that, that's going to come in here not being afraid. And we're going to have to play well. Brewer mentioned the lack of energy. Um, how much 
Yeah, I'm sure that has something to do with it. That that that's that's probably a fair point. That uh, you know, we have a new team and there's no build up or no, there's just no nights off for us. Uh, if you look at the schedule, and I I watch everybody we play. I mean, and I just see everybody we play. It seems like wins, or or, or if they lose, they're they're losing close games, and it's like, boy, you got to come ready every night and you got to play with a high level uh, of energy every night or every day. And today we just didn't do it. It was just too much uh, individual stuff today. That, that, that's, that's how I would describe it. Not enough team stuff and too much individual stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, if you look at their stat sheet, and, and I don't want to point anybody out in particular, but, you know, Chris Evans had eight turnovers. Randall had four turnovers. Uh, you know, that's, that's those numbers, 12 turnovers from those two guys, that's not – we're going to have a tough time winning if they if they do that. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they, you know, and, I, and Chris got a technical, uh, and I take some responsibility for that because I got one too. Um, but we, we've got to play without getting frustrated, and you got to play the next play, and, um, and we didn't do that. And, the, you know, those guys are in a little different role this year than they were last year, so they got to, they got to certainly uh, help us some more. I'll have to watch the film to make that determination. But I, I thought there was, not just on their part, but I just thought as a general, we had too much. Uh, if I wasn't playing well, it affected how I played defensively. And if I'd missed a shot or if I turned it over or if I thought I was open and somebody didn't see me, then my energy level on the other end of the floor wasn't where it needed to be. That, that would probably be how I would sum, it, sum this up. Um, but I'll watch the film and I'll probably, you know, maybe I'll change my mind on that, although I don't think so. I think that that, that was our problem today. Coach, you were uh, tweeting all morning, saying fans came out to the game. Uh, what do you think of the atmosphere today? Yeah, you know what, I'm not going to lie to you. We didn't give the fans a ton to cheer about. The students were out there. They did a great job. Uh, obviously, I think our marketing people got some, some young kids out there, um, you know, you obviously would love for, for it to be a sellout or whatever it may be, but uh, to some degree, you know, our, our fans and, and everybody's a little bit spoiled to some degree, you know, including uh, including our coaches. We expect to win every time we go out there. And when we don't, we're just, you know, disappointed. But uh, for those that came out, I appreciate it. Uh, obviously, I wish we played better. Uh, but we also play in a very good team. And... Um, you know, with with more experience than we have, and uh, today they were certainly tougher than we were. So uh, you got to give them a lot of credit, Temple, and uh, and their coaches and players, and then you got to just learn from it, and try to get better, because we have to play better for sure.